software of what ChatGPT does. Uh, so currently, it's it's a small help to the developers and the testers to facilitate their testing and development going forward. They'll mature. Uh, and soon enough, we'll reach a stage where, frankly speaking, we can't even fathom what AI could do in the next five years or so, right? So, as I said before, right, any company, any um, uh, company that is not uh, already into the AI aspect, uh, already into the AI bandwagon is already too late, right? Uh, with Gartner, uh, and this is a very optimistic uh, prediction. It says that by 2027, 80% of the enterprises will have AI augmented development testing. 2027 is just right? And 80% is a huge number, right? Which means that, uh, again, as I said, right? If you, if you have started your journey now, then there's a chance that you might reach there. Uh, but as I said, we at open text have already started. Uh, the people who are already there in the market uh, are already into the AI hype. 95% of the executives believe that generative AI uh, will usher in a new era of uh, enterprise intelligence. A good portion of them uh, believe that uh, you know adding the generative AI capabilities within your solutions will help uh, you uh, help you with this, you know, with your speed to market, right? With an improved speed to market, so you can deliver your products faster. And, uh, you know, we saw that 80% of uh, your development and testing will be augmented by 2027, but as soon as 2025, it will reach 30%. So 2025 is basically nine months. Uh, so what are we doing at Open Text? Uh, well, we have come up uh, with our own set of capabilities around generative AI, generative AI, which we have talked it as open text aviator. Uh, these are for now present in our cloud edition, and these leverage uh, the large language models and the private data set to solve specific use cases that the customers might have uh, issues with, or they might want to improve those processes. Uh, as I said before, this generative AI uh, capabilities, which you call as aviator, is tempered throughout our uh, set of uh, set of uh, solutions we have in all of our portfolios, uh, be it DevOps portfolio that I'm talking about today, be it the ITOM portfolio, cybersecurity portfolio, content or experience portfolio, right? So it's there for all of our portfolios. Today we'll be focusing on the DevOps part of it. Now, uh, we say that we are using AI, but what exactly are we using, right? So Google as a company has been on the forefront of AI innovations for uh, a long time now. It is one of the uh, first innovators when it comes to deep learning and machine learning. And open as open text, we ourselves are very experienced in, we have very deep information about enterprise applications and enterprise information, uh, which means that it was natural for us to partner up with Google use their platform of Google Vertex AI, their large language models of Palm 2 and Google Analytics to cater to our products, to uh, in, introduce AI to our products so that we can cater our customers better. Uh, out of the right of the bat, what are we trying to do immediately? Well, uh, we know that uh, usage of AI will help our customers plan for their uh, uh, for the implementation better, right? So an AI will look at your timeline, your history, and will predict uh, your future timelines for you, right? So in case there is some sort of delay, then you will be able to get back on track by fixing the issues that might be causing those delays, right? Uh, second uh, part is the governance and visibility. Now, as I said, it's one thing to have the data collected for you, and it's another thing for it to be shown to you in a way that you understand and uh, in a way that helps you mitigate risk, reduce defects, and deliver a better quality. Right? So AI, so we are using AI to present that information to you in a way that will help you uh, meet your targets. Uh, third, and uh, probably one of the most interesting part of uh, this platform is the AI-powered execution. So we all know about functional test automation and how brittle it can get at times. And what we have done is we have introduced AI in this aspect 
uh, AI powered test execute AI powered test uh, image recognition system to help you automate your test cases. Uh, 